U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said Russia was laying the groundwork to justify starting a war and preparing to launch an attack on Ukraine in the coming days, urging Moscow to change course at a tense United Nations Security Council meeting Thursday. Blinken changed his travel plans so he could speak Thursday's UN meeting, where the top US diplomat said he was detailing US intelligence about Russia's attempts to fabricate a pretext for an invasion in an attempt to influence Russia to abandon the path of war and choose a different path while there's still time. I am here today not to start a war, but to prevent one, Mr. Blinken said. The United States says evidence at Ukraine's border shows that Russia is moving towards an imminent invasion and is not withdrawing troops, despite Moscow's claims. The comments from Mr. Blinken and other top U.S. officials Thursday, including President Joe Biden's blunt warning that he believed an attack would happen within the next several days, marked an even greater sense of urgency from the Biden administration that Russia's actions indicated the Kremlin was moving forward with plans for war. See more scenes from on the ground of Ukraine in the video below. Your cookie settings are preventing this third-party content from displaying. If you'd like to view this content, please adjust your cookie settings. To find out more about how we use cookies, please see our cookie guide. Every indication that we have is that they are prepared to go into Ukraine. Attack Ukraine, President Biden told reporters, as he left the White House on Thursday. Russia once again dismissed the notion it was preparing to attack Ukraine as baseless accusations. In his address to the Security Council, Mr. Blinken laid out several steps the US expected Russia to take in the coming days in an attempt to justify military action in Ukraine. He said Moscow was likely to try to generate a pretext for the war, which could be a fabricated terrorist bombing inside Russia, the invented discovery of a mass grave, or a staged drone strike. Russia may describe this event as ethnic cleansing or a genocide, making a mockery of a concept that we in this chamber do not take lightly, Mr. Blinken said. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken addresses the United Nations Security Council, Thursday, February 17, 2022. U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield is seated, background left. AP photo Richard Drew, Richard Drew AP. Mr. Blinken said that top Russian officials were likely to hold urgent meetings before an attack that would include Russian bombings across Ukraine and cyber attacks. Mr. Blinken said the US believes Moscow has already selected targets that Russian tanks and troops would advance on, including Ukraine's capital, Kiev. He acknowledged that some have called into question our information, nodding to past problems with US intelligence in the run-up to the Iraq war. But he said the US would be relieved if its predictions are proven incorrect and Russia changes course. The information I presented here is validated by what we've seen unfolding in plain sight before our eyes for months, Mr. Blinken said. Members of the 82nd Airborne Division of the US Army walk on the tarmac at Pope Field ahead of deployment to Poland from Fort Bragg, NC on Monday, February 14, 2022. They are among soldiers the Department of Defense is sending in a demonstration of American commitment to NATO allies worried at the prospect of Russia invading Ukraine. AP photo of Nathan Posner, Nathan Posner, AP. Remember that while Russia has repeatedly regarded our warnings as melodrama and nonsense, they've been steadily amassing more than 100,000 troops on Ukraine's borders. Russian Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs Sergei Vershinin who spoke before Mr. Blinken at Thursday's Security Council meeting, warned others about making the UN meeting a circus, saying they should not present baseless accusations saying that Russia allegedly was going to attack Ukraine. We have long ago clarified everything and explained everything. And the announced date of this so-called invasion is behind us. So therefore, my advice to you is to not present yourself in an awkward situation, Mr. Vershinin said. On Thursday, the U.S. received a response from Russia to the written proposals the U.S. submitted to Russia three weeks ago, a senior State Department official said. In an 11-page document published by state news agency RIA Novosti, Moscow said the U.S. did not provide a constructive response, and that the increasing U.S. and NATO military activity close to Russian borders is alarming. 
In this handout photo provided by the Ukrainian police press office. A damaged wall after the reported shelling of a kindergarten in the settlement of Stanitsia Luhanska, Ukraine Thursday, February 17, 2022. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told ABC News that Russian President Vladimir Putin can pull the trigger. He can pull it today. He can pull it tomorrow. He can pull it next week. The forces are there if he wants to renew aggression against Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also dismissed the Russian claims. Ukrainian Presidential Press Office via AP, EL, AP. It's about giving up the further expansion of NATO, the response said. As tensions continued to ratchet up, the State Department said Thursday that Russia expelled the second most senior diplomat at the U.S. Embassy in Moscow without any justification, in what the Biden administration views as an escalating move. Gorman departed Moscow last week, according to a senior State Department official. He was expelled by Moscow earlier this year and given two weeks to depart. Russia's actions against our deputy chief of mission, who was a key member of the embassy's leadership team, was unprovoked, White House Principal Deputy Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre told reporters aboard Air Force One. In this handout photo provided by the Ukrainian police press office, a damaged wall after the reported shelling of a kindergarten in the settlement of Stanitsia Luhanska, Ukraine Thursday, February 17, 2022. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken told ABC News that Russian President Vladimir Putin can pull the trigger. He can pull it today. He can pull it tomorrow. He can pull it next week. The forces are there if he wants to renew aggression against Ukraine. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also dismissed the Russian claims. Ukrainian Presidential Press Office via AP, EL, AP. Now more than ever, it is critical that our countries have the necessary diplomatic personnel in place to facilitate communication between our governments. The evidence on the ground is that Russia is moving towards an imminent invasion, she said. Our goal is to convey the gravity of the situation, she said. Mr. Blinken said that he proposed in a letter a meeting next week with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Europe to continue diplomacy, along with meetings of the NATO Russia Council and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Watch the latest news on Channel 7 or stream it for free on 7 Plus.